Hey guys, welcome to Racing Crafts. Today I am going to show you guys how to make this cute card here. Um, it is a shape card that I purchased out of the Silhouette store. Um, you guys know that I operate with um, the Silhouette cameos. I have two of them. I love one more than I love the other, but we won't go there. The four is just not my friend most of the time. Um, but um, so they started bringing out these adorable shape cards, um, like this cute polar, boy, polar bear here. And I decided last year, I didn't really do cards. I just, it, I didn't have time. I didn't have a whole lot of inspiration or desire to do cards. So I just didn't. And with COVID, it was so weird, a craft season anyways that I don't know if that was a good decision or not but um, this year it looks like we're going to be more normal more back to where we were in 2019 which was a fantastic year business wise um, so uh, I'm gonna give these cards a shot they're different but they're simpler I was able to um, turn what should have been individual cut files like the belly and the face and stuff. I just made them into uh, print and cut uh, shape with a few pieces that I could pop up, um, which you will see later, including his scarf, which does not match his hat, but it had to be that way because otherwise it was gonna get really complicated. So what we're gonna need today is the card base. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it because I already stamped it. And that means it has my phone number and stuff on it. And we're just not going to share that with the world. So I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish it. I used a new mat, so the card bases are a little wonky. They're not as flat as they should be. Um, and then I've gone ahead and popped up the put on foam tape the bear and the scarf because I do want to use those for some dimension um, and I've done I've done all of my stamping and stuff before just because I talk so much and the videos get long so I wanted to kind of cut down on time plus nobody wants to see me sit here and undo all of these peel the backings off all of those pop dots um, and then I also I like to layer the inside of my cards you guys know that so what I did was I took the cut file and I'm gonna use this inside here to cover my stuff um, but so the cut file comes like this this is our card base and everything is set up these are four and a quarter by five and a half inch a2 size cards which is fine. I might play around with it later and see if I can make a five by seven or a four by six, which is what I kind of like. They seem to be my most popular sizing. Um, I don't know if it will work out to be economical to do it that way, but I've not played with it yet, so I don't know. Um, anyways, um, so what I did was with my silhouette tools, I just took the, the knife setting and just cut down this line here to separate the two halves of the card base. And then I did an internal um, outline to get me the card inside here. It's not pretty, it's not glamorous, but it's cute, it works, it gets me the inside that I want. Um, and then I stamped it with one of the stamps from this stamp set this is by Stampendous. It's a really old one. I have no idea if they still make it. Like The packaging says 2015, so it's old. I need some new card insides, but because I haven't been doing cards lately, I've not been buying card sentiment type stuff. So I'm going to go ahead while we're here and I'll just put this inside in. And I used Stampin' Up! Real Red ink because I took it with the red um, 
accents on the bear. I just kind of picked my color from there. I could have made the gap a little smaller on this. I just didn't know for sure, so I went with it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bear. He might be better done flat. Um, and we're going to line up, he's going to be the edge of the card here. So I'm gonna turn him and hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. Cause I'm, I broke out my new tripod and my brother had to set it up because I'm too short to actually see what the camera sees. So we're just crossing our fingers here because it's learning. It's a learning process. And I'm going to try and get him as close to these edges as I possibly can. That's actually not too bad. We will call that a victory. And then we're going to take, and I already stamped on this one. This kind of what we wanted to do was to do that, like on his belly, because we didn't know where else to put it. But, eh, sorry for the phone ringing. But for our display, it didn't stamp well. So I went ahead and popped up another layer. So, um, so there's that layer, and I kind of think I almost like that better, but we're gonna do two versions of it and call it a day. So now, again, we've gotta line up the edges here. Okay. And we're gonna pop a little scarf on. You could have, I could have done like pattern paper with this. That would have been super cute too. But um, the sentiment on here, have yourself a very Merry Christmas. It is from um, this Stampin' Up! Cookie Cutter Christmas. Um, it's the first time I've actually used the bear one. And I was super excited because it's cheesy and it's Christmas and everybody loves cheesy Christmas. So that is our card for today. I do want to point out that when I, uh, I do the subscription base with um, Silhouette, um, and I believe Cricut has a very similar one. Um, with Silhouette, what happens is I pay like 15, 16 something, and then they get $150 in credits to use in their store, which is a fantastic deal. And because I'm purchasing for business use, I buy uh, commercial, unless it's something like, oh, that's cute for my nephews, or oh, I want to make that for my mom or my aunt or whatever. Then I don't necessarily purchase a commercial, but 99% of the time, if I'm purchasing a file, it's got a commercial license. You're going to pay more, but then it gives me the right to sell what I make, which is the fair thing to do. So that's what I do. And I'm like 75% sure that these, no, these are commercial based, these cards. That's why I bought them. So here are our finished cards. And I will, um, I'll do a picture of both cards on Instagram and Facebook. You can always find us at Racing Crafts on both places. Um, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time.